Hello, friends. Here we go. It is 1130 on this, the 2nd of November. Uh, we should have a fun day today for Bible study as uh, Thor is ramped up. You see the the administrative assistant has a new puppy, and so that's got Thor really sort of, um, it's got him going. Hey, we are, we're starting our transition to uh, MyHT, so um, we will be continuing to stream on Facebook Live, but we're going to we're gonna take comments and questions and the like from MyHT, so I need you to go to myht.higherthings.org and hit that live Bible study link. And that will take you right to our Bible study every single day. You want to you want to get used to that, and you want to sort of learn to learn to change that because we're going to be um, we're going to be doing more and more of that as we go. Okay, um, I hope you and yours had a great weekend. All Saints Day, and today is All uh, Souls Day. Not so much uh, um, a Lutheran day, but still um, uh, still sort of recognized in the church. Um, still recognized in the church. So, um, one quick thing, and then I'm on my way. John 15. All right. Time to get rolling. The fastest 30 minutes of Bible study that you could ever ask God to give you. So, um, away we go. Let's see if I can turn the comments on. Hey, guys, good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, Linda and Donald and the like. I, I, see, your, I see you guys. So we'll be, um, we'll be doing the best we can to get um, comments from wherever we can and roll from here. Good morning, friends. Good morning. All right. <clears throat> Let's get rolling. All right. Ego a me which we've learned many times, means um, I am. I am. I am. That's what it means. I am. As in, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. I am. That's what it means. Um, I am. So, um, I like the new platform. I'm a big, big fan of the new platform. Go, my h my ht.higherthings.org, hit that live Bible study link, and let's roll. All right, so I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Unbelieving Israel, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Unbelieving Israel is a false vine. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a vine that does not lead back to to God. It they it, not because not because they not because God isn't faithful, but because men aren't faithful. Because we want to um we want to do our own things, we want to live our own way, and we want to have our own God. And 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 so you you get this you get this reoccurring theme. That, um, let me sing for my beloved, my song, my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. This is Isaiah five. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it and hewed out the wine vat in it. And he looked for it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. Now, O inhabitants of Judah, uh, Jerusalem, and men of Judah, judge me between me and my vineyard. What more was there for me to do for my vineyard that I have not done in it? And when I looked for it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? Um, yeah, this is a great um, a sort of um, this is sort of a uh, uh, this 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 text is actually used in on Good Friday in the reproaches. The reproaches where um, God is speaking to His people, and He's laying out for them what He's done for them, and how He is for them, and so you you get this um, you get this wonderful sort of um, uh, 
God who who loves and saves his people. Loves and saves his people. And but his people don't want to be saved. They and it's not his fault. He's like, what have I not done for my vineyard? So I planted myself a vineyard, and Israel is the vineyard. And I I did all that I'm supposed to do for her. I cared for her. I loved her. I I I took care of her. I I, I made sure the wine press was there. I did everything I was supposed to do as a vineyard owner. But it yielded the wrong kind of fruit. It, le- it yielded um, wild grapes. Inferior fruit that does not infl- uh, reflect the effort of the beloved, says the, the Concordia Study Bible. When I looked for it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I will let, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will remove its edge. I it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall. It shall be trampled down. I will make it a waste. It will not be pruned or hoed. Uh, and briars and thorns shall grow up. I will command the clouds, and they will no, rain no more on it. For the vineyard of the of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, the men of Judah and his pleasant planting. He looked for justice, but behold, bloodshed for righteousness. Behold, an outcry. There you go. I am the vine, the true vine. The other vine, dumpster fire. The other vines, dumpster fire. That's what's going on with the other vines. Is a dumpster fire. Emma's working on a CCV application. Excellent. Excellent. Um, comparable to the parable of the seeds. Hmm, Terry Lynn. You know, um, Parable to the parable of the seeds. You know, I, 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 insofar as they're both plants and that's image, imagery that the Lord uses, otherwise I need to think a little bit about it. I, I know that this is a direct reference to, come here, boy, leave that alone. But the, the puppy has him all upset. Come on, boy, leave it alone. <whistles> come on. I'm over here. We're going to let that go. We're going to let that go, buddy. Time to let that go. There he is. There he is. Direct reference to Isaiah. Direct reference to Isaiah. That's the link that I know, Terry Lynn. I have to think. Let's let's you and I ponder the other one for a wee bit, and we'll make decisions uh, about that later. Um, good question, though. Very good question. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. There it is. So, so notice in um, how's it going, buddy? In Isaiah, the vine was Israel, and what a failed vine that was. Now God has a another vine. That vine is Jesus, and this is a reoccurring theme, at least in the Gospels. That Jesus is Israel. He is Israel. He is Israel reduced to one. He's Israel. He's re- Israel reduced to one. So, so, um, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? So, so, um, that for certain. He's Israel and he's Israel reduced to one. I am the true vine. So what failed with Israel being the vine and God being the vine dresser is replaced with Jesus being the vine. He is, he Israel's for Israel. What comfort. He is Israel reduced down to one. Where Israel failed, God has Jesus. To live his life and to die Israel's death. To live his life and to die his 
to die for Israel. All the branches in me that do not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch which bears fruit, he prunes so that it would bear more fruit. Who's the fruiter? It's not even a word, but let's sort of, let's be clear about this. We love to make Jesus. We love, we love to make ourselves the, 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 the guys who are responsible for fruit. We make it all about us and what we're doing and how much we've changed and how much fruit we are, we are, we're, we're producing as if we're the true vine, as opposed to Jesus who says, look, every branch is in me, the father prunes. And uh, if it's, if you don't produce fruit, he throws it out. So, so the surest way to be out is to not produce fruit. But if you do produce fruit, the father prunes that. So he's the one that's responsible. He's the fruiter. I'm not even sure that's the word. I, I, there's got to be a better word for it than that. But he is the producer of fruit in your life. It's unavoidable. He's the one that prunes. He's the one that prunes so there'll be more fruit. That's the God he is. That's the God he is. He's the word made flesh. So don't miss this. In your pursuit of good works, in your pursuit of fruit, and that's a good thing to be pursuing, to, to be doing more and more good works, in your pursuit of that, try to remember who it is that does the fruit. Jesus. Jesus is the vine that the fruit comes from. And the Father is pruning you in order to produce more and more good works of love and charity for others. He's the cultivator. Thank you, Erica. He's the cultivator. Having a little sluggish time on, on, on the new tech? We'll see. Um, ready? Who likes making up words? This guy. Already, you are Catharoi. That's like um, cleansed. You are, you have been um, carterized. You've been um, cleaned. So already you've been cleaned. Um, you've been made clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. The word makes you clean. The word, who is the word made flesh, as Terry pointed out, the word is what makes you clean. The word is what delivers righteousness to you. Um, um, good boy. He's like this. Do you know there's a, there's a small puppy in the other room? I must play with it, especially Ted. Good boy, good boy, good boy. So you're already clean. Now, this is the second time he said you're already clean. The second time. The first time was two chapters ago. When he said, um, when he said, when he was washing their feet. So two chapters ago, he was washing their feet and he made it clear that they were clean, but not all of them. And he was talking about Judas Iscariot here with Judas gone. You are clean. Because of the word that I spoke to you. Notice you're not clean because you're such good people. You're not clean because you're a good guy or gal. And I'm sure you're excellent people. But you're, you're clean because of the word in which I spoke to you. The word makes you clean. The word made flesh. The word of Christ for you. That's what makes you clean. All right. He speaks... Oh, uh, thanks, buddy. He speaks. 
we receive, and in his speaking, he words us clean. Remain in my words. I'm sorry, remain in me. Now, how do you remain in him? You remain in his words. He's the word. So to remain in him is to remain in his words. High five. High five. Who's, which, which hand's it in? Which hand's it in? This one? Good job. All right. Abide in me, remain in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So if you want good works, what are the, what's the only way to get good works? If you want good works of love and charity, if, 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 and good works are important, just ask your neighbor. If you want these works of love and charity... Um, um, we, we do sort of match. He's wearing his black security gear and I'm wearing black and, and red and, um, yeah. If you want these works and everybody wants to do good, you, if that old Adam in you wants to do, uh, or the new Adam wants to do good works, the way to do them not to save yourself. The way to do them is to abide in the vine. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So I'm the vine. You're the branches. The branch can't bear fruit without the vine. So remain in me and I'll remain in you and you'll bear fruit. But you got good works going on outside of Christ. No, it's, that's not fruit. Not fruit that endures to eternal life. Not fruit that saves. And so again, sanctification. Sanct, uh, Sanctbal said it great. Sanctification is Christ in action. In you. Christ in action in you. Not you in action for Christ. Again, that's to speak as if you're not connected to the vine. As if the vine isn't responsible for your life and well-being. When you, when you trip and fall backwards into good works, that was God that was doing it. When you rush headlong to do good for others, that's God doing it. Because apart from him, you can't do anything. He says, and that means anything. Anything doesn't mean um, everything but some things. Anything means you can't do anything. I'm going to take a moment and remind you to go to store.higherthings.org and get your Higher Things merchandise. You want to do that. Store.higherthings.org and you want to get that Higher Things merchandise. I'm looking for the cup. Oh, there's some more here. Look at this. Look at this good stuff. You want this good stuff in your hands and not mine because when you're thirsty for a drink, there's nothing like daring to be Lutheran as you do it. As you have, have, you, as you have a sip. Um, I have too much ice in here. Whoops. There you go. Daring to be Lutheran only makes it makes it taste better. And by that, I do not mean that Lutherans are the only people that are saved. To dare to be Lutheran, of course, means to dare to believe against the world, the devil, and your sinful flesh that Jesus saves by grace alone, received by faith alone, from Scripture alone. Store.higherthings.org. Make sure that you give a little bit. Give a little bit. Give a little bit. To the Higher Things store. Sorry. Also, a, a general reminder to go to myht.higherthings.org for the live stream of this event, uh, for this Bible study, because um, we're trying to move you over there 
because the, the interface gives us a lot more opportunity to interact with you. And we're going to have days in which we're not on Facebook. We're only on, on myht.hirethings.org. So let's learn to sort of move over something new. Uh, Lutherans don't do new things. Yes, we do. And so um, that this is the feast. I mean, that's good stuff. Of course, it's from Revelation, but you know, it's good stuff. So let's go to um, myht.hirethings.org, and that's where the stream is going to be um, moving toward. We want to do that. I am the vine. You are the clemata. You are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he, that one, is the one that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do, you can't do I like this. It's a double negative. Apart from me, you are not able to do nothing. That's, 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 that's what it says. Apart from me, you are not able to do nothing. And so if you do the math on that, you end up with apart from me, you can't do anything. Okay. Um, but, but why the double negative? The double negative is for emphasis. You can't do nothing. Apart from me. So with me, you can do not nothing. So apart from me, you can't do anything. So with me, you do everything. He's the vine. We're the branches. What a fun time we're having. Fun time. Fun times. Are you still with me? Most excellent. If anyone does not abide in me, um, eble thay, um, that is to be thrown out, but that is a, it looks to be an heiress passive. So a simple path, you'll be tossed. Um, uh, like the branches and you'll, um, and you'll dry up. And you'll, um, and, uh, 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 so like the way you sort of make a dumpster fire, I'm sorry, you make like a, like a burn pile and you, and you gather up all the sticks from your, uh, come on back, boy, leave that dog alone. Come on, come on, come on over here in your bed. No time for that. You leave that dog alone while you're working. You're a working dog, and you need to be in your bed. In your bed, buddy. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. So, look, you know how, like, the sticks are gathered, so you make the burn pile? That's what happens apart from him. Apart from him, you can't do anything. And remember, a, a, a piece of vine that doesn't bear fruit is one that's tossed into the fire. And so here he says it again. I'm the vine, you're the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. Ah, ah, ah. He's on the other side now. I'm sorry. The distractions that Thor provides. What can we say? Um, apart from me, you can do nothing. Again, again, again. How important it is to remember this. You've got no salvation, no life, no working for God. All you're doing is looking for love in all the wrong places apart from God. And God has come to you in the person of his son. And what failed with Israel, which was Israel is the branch, is fulfilled in Jesus. Jesus is the branch, is the vine. I'm sorry. What failed in Israel, Israel is the, is the vine, is successful in Jesus where he says, I'm the vine. I wish you could see this. You are in real trouble standing on that chair thinking that you're going to get something. The only way you're going to get something is over here, buddy. Get off the desk. Get off the desk. There you go. Now get over here. Yeah, you're stuck there. St he's standing on two different chair arms and he's stuck. It's pretty funny. He's like, what did I get myself into? Jump in the bed. Jump in the bed. Come on. In the bed. Get in your bed. Really? Interesting. Interesting. Get in your bed. 
Oop, that got him. That got his attention. All right. So apart from me, you can do nothing means apart from me, you can do nothing. It's not apart from me, you can do something. This is a great two days after Reformation text. Um, uh, come here, boy. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Good boy. Put your butt in your bed. There you go. Um, if anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. So, again, this is a, a, a sort of more of a, uh, an explanation of, you know, my father does the pruning, and if you don't bear fruit, he cuts you off and he throws you into the fire. If you abide in me and my remata, my words, abide in you. What an interesting thing that his words abide in you. That his words abide in you. What? A, what? Whoa, we could just spend an hour on that. Notice it's not if you remain in me and you and and you and and you and you keep your nose in your words. No, my words to remain in him is to remain in his words. You remain in him when you abide in his words and his words abide in you. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done to you. By this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. And so okay, Ganes that does not mean prove. It means um, to be. So um, in this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and you are my disciples. And how are you his disciples? Will you remain in his words? You are his disciples when you remain in his words. Apart from his words, you're not his disciples, but you are not apart from his words. You are in his words and his words abide in you. He abides in you in his words. And so you bear not just fruit, but much fruit. And the father prunes you and you bear more fruit. And the father prunes you and you bear more fruit, more love and service to your neighbor, which begins and ends not with you, but with God. He's got you hooked up to the vine, who is Jesus. And he's doing the pruning, more good works of love and service for your neighbor. So apart from the word, you wither and die. This is why folks come up with the dumbest things to believe the more they skip church. Because they are separating themselves from the Lord's words and promises. And that pruning goes poorly for them. So my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so that you are, Ganestha means are, my disciples. It does not mean are proven to be my disciples. All right. Good first go of it. We'll, we'll catch this up tomorrow. Um, remember, my ht.higherthings.org is the place to go as we're slowly but surely, we'll still stream to Facebook but um, this is where we're moving um, because it allows us better interaction with you um, and so we'll still have stuff on Facebook um, but we're moving toward myht.higherthings.org for this Bible study um, uh, which is a better better, better platform it's, it's our platform so we want, we want, to, we want to use it. Um, thank you for coming today remember He's the vine. His father's the vine dresser. You're the branches. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in a hop, skip, and a jump tomorrow, 1130.